They want everybody to come in. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. It's been dubbed by the city as a new Ellis Island. The Roosevelt Hotel was turned into a migrant arrival center in May 2023 and became the one-stop shop where newly arriving migrants could get information 24-7 about what to do and where to go next. Since its arrival center opened its doors around a year ago, it has welcomed more than 150,000 migrants from 160 different countries. And we're just getting started. Behind me here, there are warm meals that we serve around the clock, 24-7. Dr. Ted Long with Health and Hospitals has been spearheading this operation since its inception. He says once migrants arrive, they are quickly registered. We ask for your name, the size of your family, and give you a wristband so that we know and have line of sight into everybody in the building now. After that, migrants are led to a room that is set up as a health care clinic. City officials say that so far they have administered more than 70,000 vaccines. Enable us to enroll kids in school almost instantly upon when they arrive in New York City. What's going on here, man? What about me? I uh, called your number, didn't I? No, 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 you didn't. Oh, well, better luck next year. <laughs> <laughs> Men at the Migrant Center have a recreation room with multiple TVs, plush couches, telephones for calling home, Xboxes, foosball tables, and games. The migrants have a cafeteria with condiments on the table, a rotating menu of South American specialties, even bottled water and soft drinks in coolers. Meanwhile... We're gonna try to put you in a two-man apartment. They go on and on with this. I told you, I was out here since the winter. This is the Hotel Danbury Presidential Suite, gentlemen. Normally reserved for royalty, visiting dignitaries, illustrious stars of stage and screen. We have shortly coming the Emperor and Empress of Japan. And of course, Princess Charles and I, when they were together, used to frequent the hotel constantly. Well, take it! We have a brand. New York has a brand. 